Well, it might be early, but I feel it is time for a little bit of a refreshment. And who said it's ever too early uh, for a gin? It is five o'clock somewhere, after all. And I'm here by the Nicholson Gin Bar, uh, Britain's oldest gin, established in 1736. And it wouldn't be time for a tipple without this guy. Uh, Neil Phillips, you've got Milo, you've got Alex. I'm getting in. I'm coming in. See you in a mo. Right, Alex, it's great to be here at the Nicholson Bar here. So just give us, actually, just before Rachel comes out, we'll wait for Rachel before we have our Nicholson gin and tonic, of course. Bit of background here, because you're the oldest gin, aren't you, Nicholson gin? Exactly, yes. So this is a bit of an institution in the gin world. Um, the Nicholson family uh, started up Nicholson in 1736, so wow. very, very old. Um, and actually, more importantly, they actually invented the London dry flavour that is in virtually every gin around. So it's a really cool story. And I think what you've just got here, which you've got to actually have a taste of, is our classic gin and tonic, which is our sort of signature drink, which I think is going to taste gorgeous. And just say about the orange as well here. Yeah, so yeah, we, we, we've made a thing here. This Our gin is perfectly paired with orange and not lemon. So there's actually a lot of citrus in our gin. And if you put a bit of lemon in it, it actually clashes with the taste. So adding orange beautifully picks out the flavour. So it tastes really, really good. Well, I can feel us just going in now. Rachel's ready. You've come round, Rachel. Have come you, on. Have you We've ever got seen Mi me move so <laughs> no, far? No, come on here. And Milo as well here. So we're going in, everybody. Have a taste. Cheers. Cheers wow. Everyone. Let's Cheers. just go in. So this is the just the traditional this is your classic, classic. London dry. Classic, okay, yeah. lovely, absolutely lovely. Go on, Rachel, go for it. I mean, I think this is a beautiful gin and tonic, and I love that orange as well with this. I think it's great. I love the orange as well, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> the orange is a winner. Yeah, that, that's a winner for you. <laughs> uh, let's get over to Milo. And um, Milo, you actually, um, this is in your family. You're part of the Nicholson family. Exactly, yeah. So I'm eighth generation. Uh, so wow. the chap that started John Nicholson in 1736 is my great, 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 great grandfather. Um, so yeah, I've been been drinking gin since a young age. Um. Well, <laughs> how young? <laughs> Just 18. <laughs> Whew, phew. And uh, what, are we, what are we preparing so here? We're making our bloody good spritz. Um, so it's our wonderful blood orange flavour, which is our first flavour since 1960. Um, and I'm pouring it with a bit of monin syrup, just a dash of it, just to add a bit of sweetness to it. Um, and what that basically does is sort of creates a bit of summer in a glass as such. Um, and then from here, I'll just simply chop it up with some delicious tonic. Which is all important as well. All very important. There's not much tonic going in here, but come on. This is refreshing, isn't it? It's it's the summer, you yes. know, the, the flavours and the fruit and that little bit of sweetness going in there as well. Exactly, yes. And we created this cocktail especially for Goodwood. We just thought, you know, summer, horse racing, what else would you come like on, instead of a yeah. bloody good spritz? Um, what a bloody good time. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. And <laughs> can I ask about the cans? Is it as good in a can, the gin? Well, come on. Yeah, yeah no, this is a really good point. So we have actually developed a range of RTDs which are on the, on the shelf behind you, which are specially for Goodwood. So it tastes absolutely just as good as a can. And those are for the guys who like picnicking and just want an easy snap and pull and away you go. And Milo, what's been the po most popular drink this week at Goodwood? I would say the bloody good spritz. I mean, it's been absolutely such a big take up. I think everyone loves our new flavor and it's just, it's so refreshing. And I think it's just a great way to hydrate throughout the day whilst you're watching some racing. Yeah. Well, um, as I wow. said, it's, it's early for the top shelf, we always yeah. say in Ireland, but it is five o'clock somewhere. So shall we get into this come on, lovely let's go. refreshing? Let's go, let's okay, pass around here, here. come are. on. Let's go here, there we go. Lovely, thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Rachel. Come on, let's have a yeah. taste. Well, and I see orange again. This is quite a theme then. There's a, there's a theme. Yeah. There's a, there's a theme, but it just makes it taste great. So well, just have a little go on that. Tell us what you think. Yep, after having a little go on that. Oh, wow, Delicious. that's great. Wow, yeah, that, that is, is really fantastic, nice. Fantastic, yeah. I love that. I'll tell you what I really like as well here is actually, there's a, there's, I like the dryness there as well. It's really, really refreshing this. Yeah, we don't want to make it too, if you make the uh, gin and tonics too sweet, it becomes a little bit sickly. Yeah. So this is kind of a premium taste. It's a bit, a bit, bit more of a, um, how would I say, an acquired taste. Yeah. So uh, hopefully, uh, you know, you enjoy it. But you're really picking up the gin flavours as well. Rachel, you're looking really happy about I'm all of this. Listen, you're I'm just really happy. loving all this, aren't you? <laughs> I've been sitting out the last couple of days. I'm delighted that we're here. We're here going in. At the, but I at love... the gin bar. Yeah. Um, and can I ask as well, because, you know, we talk about botanicals in, in gin and, you know, we talk about mainly four of base botanicals. What about you guys? Like, how many botanicals are we working with? So we have ten botanicals and we actually use the exact same, flavor, exact same recipe that my family developed in 1830. Um, so it's those four juniper berries, coriander, angelica roots, citrus, orange and lemon. And then we use um, 
nutmeg, uh, licorice root, which adds that sweetness to it. And overall, it's just a very well-balanced gin. And you can taste it throughout the tonic, which is delicious. It is delicious. And it was great to see Nicholson sponsor this week, Alex, as well. Yeah, we are. We, we, when we relaunched the business in March, uh, brand new relaunch, we wanted to find what was a sort of perfect match mm. for us as a business. And we, we had to go for horse racing. It was absolutely perfect. But also, there's a big family history with Nicholson in, in West Sussex. And so Goodwood was sort of our top target. So we, you know, we're extremely proud to be here. We really are. And, and you tipped up the winner as well of your own race, which is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. You really? did. You absolutely did. You told me in the morning. You, did. you said, I'm going to do this. So you're really celebrating. Well, we, we really were. Actually, we had a box on day one, and I think we cleaned out the tote in the Sussex stand. <laughs> <laughs> and what about this afternoon? Have we got any winner for us? God, I, I, I probably have, but I should probably tell you off air because I might get shot by someone. <laughs> <laughs> I can see a lot of people queuing up to get gin. We're and busy. We've got would... to start working here, actually, Rachel. It We've wouldn't be start... like Neil and I to hog the bar. <laughs> no, no, we never do that. Have you got We've... time for one more? We've oh, got, got one go. more thing. This is our... <laughs> <laughs> We're halfway there, but you know, we've got, oh, we've got our we final go. drink okay, here. Let's try this one because this one is... It's absolutely delicious. ...created specially for today, for Ladies' Day. So this is our pink... We're quite proud of this one. I think this tastes really, really good. We always have time for one right, more, guys. We're going to go in here. <laughs> right. Look, we're having a great time behind the bar here. <laughs> it's, been, it's wonderful here at the Nicholson Bar. We've got lots of work to do here, Rachel and I. We're going to be helping out. I'm going to keep this apron on, and it's going to be fantastic. Cheers. Thank you very much, guys. It yeah, is going to be fantastic. fantastic. Thank you, Milo. Uh, thank you, Alex. Lovely colour and, of course, a flourish of colour uh, down the Goodwood Strait with uh, a very famous event here, and it's the 11th year now. It is, of course, the Magnolia Cup.